there has been some uh, stuff going up on using someone else's music for a political campaign or for your own benefit and it's for uh, the recent uh, election that will be happening in USA for the US uh, 2024 right uh, next president of the US uh, which uh, not many uh, elect Vivek Ramsaway me has decided to use a uh, rapper Eminem's uh, song uh, Lose Yourself uh, at the Iowa State Fair in early August uh, on uh, August 23rd uh, a representative of a PMI informed that Ramsaway the Remy the Lord that Eminem objected the Ramsaway Wasame usage of uh, Eminem's uh, music which uh, if uh, you want to even get permission from uh, Eminem to use his music the recent only person who actually received permission to actually use his music was uh, Joe Biden uh, when he was uh, getting elected and uh, and uh, Eminem only voted for uh, the Democratic uh, Party uh, because he doesn't like Donald Trump and not that because of any certain reason. He just doesn't like uh, what uh, Donald Trump is doing. And what uh, Vivek Ramaswamy uh, uh, is uh, doing. Uh, Eminem said, I do not give uh, Vivek uh, Ramzawami uh, to use uh, my song for your uh, campaign. And uh, the BMI uh, consider, will consider any performance at Eminem works by the Vivek 2024 campaign from the state forum to be a material breach of the agreement for which BMI does all rights and remedies with, with respect there too and which uh, Ramzo uh, Wami uh, he was uh, doing an imitate uh, rap uh, which he said on uh, he tweeted on uh, X uh, with the real Slim Shady please stand up he didn't just say what I think he did did he and uh, college uh, Viveka Ramzo Wami uh, had to perform raps under uh, the stage name Davi Vec, which uh, often rap being uh, lose yourself and also uh, also uh, had uh, performed uh, in uh, the song and uh, during a vacation to in Canada at a karaoke uh, bear bar and uh, and he said he says I did not grow up in the circumstances he did people uh, having low expectations of you that part speaks to me. Apparently, uh, Vivek's uh, father was an engineer and a patent uh, attorney for General Electric, while his mother had a career as a geriatric uh, psychiatrist. So he had a uh, higher class uh, life compared to uh, Marshall Mathers, uh, who uh, when, uh, he grew up in a uh, trailer park and uh, he had to move from uh, house to house and uh, was uh, not lucky about it. And uh, when this was, uh, was going on, uh, the people at Daily Wire, the political uh, news uh, people, uh, Ben Shapiro and uh, Matt Walsh and, uh, and the other people, even Brett Cooper, which who is 22 uh, years old, we're uh, making a big deal of this and laughing about it because they uh, because they are uh, political and they uh, are voting for Donald Trump and wish they uh, don't have no respect so uh, don't uh, go uh, support uh, the Daily Wire they're garbage in 2000 uh, stay Rapper Sting asked uh, George W. Bush, uh, the son 
and uh, former president of uh, the U.S. Uh, president, and his dad, George Bush, which is uh, the, the one of the coincidences that, and circumstances that a father and son are, have been also uh, presidents of a country. was told uh, to uh, stop using his song, uh, Brand New Day. St Sting's uh, manager, Miles uh, Copeland, uh, said the Sting did, didn't want to take side uh, in the election as Sting was British and a guest in uh, the U.S. Uh, and since uh, Sting, uh, if someone wanted to use his music and you in uh, Great Britain, that's... Um, that would be okay if, uh, depending on how they were using it, it maybe if uh, Sting uh, voted for this uh, party uh, in Great Britain. But this is uh, someone in the USA, and uh, and uh, as you know, USA cut ties with uh, Great Britain. A long time ago, while Canada and uh, New Zealand and uh, Australia still uh, have ties to the royal family and uh, Great Britain and uh, United Kingdom. But still are independent. Miles Copeland said that. Uh, it's not a polite thing to do. Which, uh, the Gore campaign also decided to use a uh, brand new day by Sting. Uh, and, uh, Sting also told them to stop using it. And uh, in 2009, uh, Singh and uh, the Gore uh, campaign, they made up and uh, they uh, had brunch together. And probably the only person who actually got away with uh, using Eminem's uh, music and actually uh, sort of owning it partially was probably Michael Jackson uh, after Eminem uh, dissed uh, Michael Jackson and imitated in, him in a music video and uh, Michael Jackson uh, he had a signed uh, contract which uh, he uh, still has control uh, of his music and even though Michael Jackson he passed away uh, in uh, the 2010s uh, So Michael Jackson, uh, his uh, management uh, in uh, Interscope uh, only have a control over it and Michael Jackson is the only person who actually got away with it. And uh, Vivek uh, Ramzawami uh, has uh, not uh, received uh, some uh, positive attention in uh, you know, USA, so uh, we will see how he does in the uh, next election and see if he actually wins or not. Or he uh, end up uh, getting uh, beat by Ron DeSantis. And hopefully Donald Trump does not uh, get uh, his uh, second term of uh, being uh, pre president of the uh, USA. Because uh, he's uh, been known for being a very racist. And anyone who uh, doesn't uh, like him, uh, such as a uh, Republican who doesn't uh, like his ways, or a Democrat, or of course, uh, races, the native people, or uh, 
uh, African American people or uh, the Asian people, the Latino, the Hispanics, and especially the Muslims, uh, which uh, USA is a very uh, they have a thing against the Muslim people, which uh, Canada is more open about it. So if you want to use uh, someone's uh, song, yeah, yeah, please uh, let them know about it before, uh, because uh, the record, the artist and the record label, they will come after you, and it's not pretty. And even if uh, using some a uh, music uh, artist uh, or DJ's uh, music sample, because that is also problematic. It happened to Ed Sheeran too.